Hey guys, if you're interested in this creepy, gross looking slit throat makeup for Halloween, then keep on watching. Taking one tablespoon of gelatine powder, I'm going to mix it with two tablespoons of hot boiling water till it's completely melted and make sure it's a runny consistency. Then go ahead and apply a very thin layer across your neck. Okay, and then taking tissue paper, I'm just going to tear it into small rectangular pieces like this and then tearing it apart into a single ply, I'm going to place that over the gelatine. And then apply another thin layer of gelatine over the tissue paper and then continue the same process and layer it up uh, for about three to four times yeah that should be enough Make sure to smooth out the tissue paper to your skin and then just wait for the gelatine to dry up completely and if it's almost dry but it's taking too long then just go ahead and dab on some powder. Next go ahead and apply some foundation over the tissue paper in order to blend it into your skin. And the next step you want to do is just take a very sharp knife and give a nice deep slit to your throat. Just kidding guys. Yeah, so take a blunt knife or anything. I'm using this bottle opener here. Make sure it's blunt so that you don't cut yourself while doing this. And slowly make a cut in the center like so. And make sure to remove the excess tissue paper. But don't worry if it's a little distorted because that's going to make the wound look even more realistic. Once you've got your slit, then just go ahead and loosen out the skin around it a bit. Then I'm taking a foundation that is about 3 to 4 shades darker than my actual skin tone and I'm just going to take a sponge and dab that around the whole wound area and don't worry if it's uh, not perfect, you can always go ahead and blend it out with a foundation brush. Then I'm taking a black eyeliner and uh, applying that right on the slit area because that is going to help the cut look very deep And then I'm setting it with a dark brown eyeshadow powder and I'm also applying that to the skin right around the slit To make it look a little bit old and worn out Next I just mix a combination of a variety of red lipsticks that I have along with a few glosses as well at the back of my hand and then with a foundation brush I just go over the slit and also dab it randomly around the wound. And lastly if you don't have access to fake blood don't worry because you can just go to your kitchen and grab your ketchup, place it right on the slit. And also just pull the lower tissue a bit outside and then fill that area with ketchup. Just make sure not to use a ketchup that has chilies in it. Okay, so just keep uh, dripping the ketchup into your wound till you feel it's looking as wet and as gross as possible. And one more advantage of ketchup is that even if it drips on your body you can just go ahead and give it a quick lick lastly to add some more drama I'm going ahead with my red liquid lipstick and just dotting some uneven lines down my throat and there you go guys now you're ready to head out and scare the hell out of anyone 
So enjoy your Halloween and stay tuned for more Halloween videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.